in the diagram, O is the center of the circle, and A, B, C, D is a cyclic quad. Duh! It touches all four sides of a circle. So it has to be a cyclic quad. Um, o, B, and O, D are drawn. If O1 is equal to 4X plus 100, and angle C is X plus 34, calculate, giving reasons, the size of X. Right, when they give you a question like this, I've seen this many times, um, it's going to have like a diamondy kind of shape, and they typically are going to give you something in the center. All you must remember is that this angle will always be double this angle, okay? And this angle will always be double, whoops, this one. So it's opposite. So this one goes with that, and this one goes with that. So this one is going to be double that, and this angle on the outside here, this one, angle O2, that'll be double that one, okay? So for example, what we could say is that um, this one is going to be double angle A. So angle O1 is going to be two times angle A, and that is just because of angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. So that means that this one is going to be half of 4x plus 100, so it'll be 2x plus 50. So angle A is going to be 2x plus 50. Now, we know that this is a cyclic quad. What do we know about the opposite angles of a cyclic quad? They add up to 180. They're supplementary. Angle A plus angle C must be 180. Op angles cyclic quad. Just go sub in the values now. So A is 2x plus 50. C is x plus 34. It's actually a very easy question. So that's 3x plus uh, 50 plus 34 is 84. Take the 84 to the other side, you end up with 96. Divide both sides by 3, you get 32 degrees.